You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Thank the gods, we are finally home. <laughs> Igwe Olisa will be glad to have this head. I think we need another head. Dike, this is our kingdom. So whose head will you be needing in our own kingdom? It's a revelation of a conspiracy. A conspiracy? Against who? Gods of my land. Any man who wants to use my head for his food trust, his head will be used as cup for his father's enemies. I can only range in here. Let's not move even there. Come along as in. My beauty, let us go inside.
Ganga, Lion of Anoba. <laughs> Amadia, do you not have to unwind this. You should have told me so that I could stop by at Uzomba's house to drink. Okay, please. Can I use your cup to drink at Uzomba's house? You cannot use my cup, Amadi. Ah. Okay, I can see you are not in a good mood. Let me take my teeth. Ikenga. Come out. My lord. I wish this journey could be left for another day. I know you're still worried about the dream last night. But I trust the gods. They will not allow the strongest warrior in Anoba to die. I will come back alive. I promise you. I wish you well, my lord. Thank you, my beauty. Prepare my favorite meal. I'll be back before sunset. Tell him I said, I will not send this sound of warning again. I do not want any man to touch even a pinch of sand on that land. That land belongs to us. We inherited it from our father. Your words are clear, your highness. They shall get to go bigger as they are. Good. If he threatens you, let their land have a taste of their blood. Kill every living thing on that clan. Yes, Your Highness. Good. Go well. Thank you, Your Highness. The kingdom. My princess. Be careful and may the gods meet you. Adaka, I never thought of it that way. If you ask questions, the gods will definitely answer. Are they going to come back alive? I see blood. I see blood on this soil. The blood keeps moving. And the blood cannot be sucked by the dry soil. Is it the blood of our people? Is it the blood of the warriors? Your Highness, how many warriors did you send on this errand? Only three. D.K., Ikenga, and Noka. D.K.? But you should have sent more men. Those three have gone on such a run before and came back alive. Your Highness, if those men are killed, Umoba will attack us on our ways and there will be no one left. 
do we make any sacrifice to the gods to protect them? We need to make sacrifice as fast as possible before they get to mother. You will bring one white cock and one white he goat. And we'll make the sacrifice at our banana. All right. But first, take this pot to Yoma and fetch some water with it. Bring the pot with you. Go. I'll take my leave now. Go. have not seen such beauty in this community. <laughs> She's Ikenga's wife. Ikenga's wife? Yes, Your Majesty. She's from Amesi. I want to see her in my palace right away. As Your Majesty pleases. Mama. Oh, good. Hmm? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, the king will want to see you. The king will want to see me. Oh, yes. <gasps> my husband! Now, is my husband okay? Your husband is okay, Abuma. I think the king has something to tell you. About my husband? Where is he? Your husband is okay. I don't know what the king has to tell you until you see him. The king has something to tell me. Yes. And it's not about my husband. I don't know how to see the king. I should follow you. Yes. Uh, the king is inside. So I should follow you inside? Yes. The king is inside.
feel free. Just feel free and sit down. No, Your Majesty. I brother stand and listen. You're going to be fine. Sit down. Sit. I never knew your people have such beautiful maiden like this. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Have a drink. I do not want to drink. But your people like this. Yes. But I... I cannot drink on an empty stomach. Such a beautiful woman. That was not right, Your Majesty. No one tells me what is right or wrong. A few months ago, a woman raised her hands on me, and I beat her up and skinned her life. Just a few weeks ago, the woman told her husband what happened between us, and I buried her life. So you better relax. I said, I said, relax. Why? This is not the way leading to Umuoba. I know. But we're taking right. A spy might tell them that we're coming. Kinga, how would the spy know where we are going? I am not here to banter words with you. We're taking this part. I have a say on this one. I will not follow you to Umuoba through this route. DK. DK. The Kinga is right. We will use this route. Besides, it is our leader and what he sees those. Dike. Dike. What are you doing? I'm going to be a million of my I'm going to King, ask us to tell you to tell your people to leave our land. Go tell your king. He is a stupid and foolish man. He is a lunatic. His father slept with a mad woman, and he is the result of it. Tell him that. Just insulted king. My king! Insulted our king. No one, no one insult the great king Ulysses before the three warriors of Anuba in those three weeks. You brought war to my threshold then? He's speaking the truth. 
An insult to my king is like an insult to the gods. You stand before me to blaspheme the gods? Because of that lunatic you call a king? You say this around nonsense because of a lunatic. Opika. Opika. We will not condone any more insult on our king again. Did you just call me by my name because of that idiot? Opika, beware! You go, Opika. One more word against my king, I will kill every living thing in your hands. Are you not afraid to die? Yes! <laughs> Bring him out. Dad! You go, Bika. You go, Bika. You can't go, please. Please, you can't go. Don't, don't kill me, please. Please. Do you please. still want to insult my king? No. Now I beg for my life, please. One more insult from you. Your head will roll on the ground. We will not live here without a human head. Diki, stop. Ikenga, don't ask me to stop. Diki, I said stop! These men deserve to be buried with their heads for serving their king. We will not live here without a human head. Our king did not ask us to come back with a human head. I'm in charge. You must follow my orders. Let us go. at the front. Why? Diki, I am your leader. Be at the front. Did you say? The king has stopped us from coming home with a human head. After Igu Bika called you terrible names. Ikenga, how true is that? Your Highness, you never told us to come back with your human head. Our fight over there was to protect your name. Protect my name indeed. Your Highness. I did not see any reason for human head. Besides, we are not in any battle with them. Ikenga, if you had not fought and won several battles, I would have said that you are a weakling. How could you kill his dad and you have nothing to show for it? I am sorry, Your Highness. I thought it was needless. Shut up, Ikenga. From today, you cease to be the head of my warriors. Drop the golden sword and walk away. Dike, Igwe, you are now the head of my warrior. It is an honor, Your Highness. 
pick up that golden sun. You may go home and clean your body. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, Your Majesty. If you ask me, I would say you were quick in your judgment. Fighting and killing the people of Moaba because their king insulted you is a not act of bravery. But bringing back human head is a signal of war. Or how do you see it? Your Majesty, Ndukwe is right. We all know that if it was right for human head to be brought, Ikenga would have come back with seven human heads, yes. if not even more. Yes. Huh? I have made my pronouncement, and that is final. Don't kill me, please, please. I, 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 I beg you, please, please, please. I will not kill you. Only shut up your mother for you. 